Season 1 of Ted Lasso introduces the titular character as an American football coach who goes viral on social media due to his enthusiastic victory dances. This catches the eye of AFC Richmond owner Rebecca Welton, who hires Ted to come coach her European football team. And so Ted and his assistant coach, Coach Beard, move to London with little knowledge of soccer rules, but a whole lot of enthusiasm and heart. What Ted doesn't know is that Rebecca received ownership of AFC Richmond following a very public and humiliating divorce, and she thinks that hiring Ted will lead to disaster, ruining the team her ex-husband Rupert loves so much. But what Rebecca doesn't know is that Ted Lasso is maybe the greatest human being to ever walk the earth who is literally impossible not to love. Throughout the season, Ted manages to charm everyone and turn them to his side. Ted immediately wins over Rebecca's loyal director of operations, Higgins, who feels guilty for keeping his boss's schemes a secret from the lovable coach Lasso. He gives much-deserved respect to the team's underappreciated kit man, Nate, and even promotes him to assistant coach. He then converts the scathing and skeptical reporter Trent Krim to his cause. He motivates the gruff and aging team leader Roy Kent to actually lead the team on and off the field. He starts making breakthroughs on turning superstar Jamie Tart from a selfish and egotistical ball hog to a slightly more respectful team player who can maybe pass the ball every once in a while. He even befriends Jamie's girlfriend Keeley and even inspires her to use her intelligence to work for AFC Richmond instead of just being a model. And most importantly, over the course of Season 1, Ted Lasso manages to tear down Rebecca's walls and earn her support and friendship. Rebecca confesses to Ted her original motivations in hiring him to sabotage the team, but Ted brushes it off and forgives her. In the end, the two become genuine friends and unite in their efforts to see AFC Richmond achieve greatness. Elsewhere in the season, Jamie and Keeley break up, and Keeley strikes up a much healthier relationship with Jamie's rival Roy Kent. While working for AFC Richmond, Keeley also forms a strong friendship with Rebecca. And speaking of Rebecca's friends, her old pal Sassy takes a liking to Ted. And as for Rebecca herself, after holding on to her bitterness toward punching bag director of operations Leslie Higgins for his complicit behavior in her ex-husband Rupert's extramarital affairs, Rebecca eventually forgives him for his past misdeeds. And as for Rupert, Rebecca's sleazy ex-husband finds a much younger girlfriend that he likes to flaunt in his ex-wife's face. And that new girlfriend also happens to be named Rebecca. While adapting to his new life in London and motivating his new team to believe in themselves, Ted Lasso's endless optimism is put to the test. Ted's wife comes to the conclusion that they've grown too far apart and asks for a divorce. And despite Ted's excellent skills as a leader and coach, his lack of knowledge on the actual sport and the initial divisiveness amongst the team puts them on a nasty early losing streak. To make matters worse, Jamie Tart is sent to play for opposing team Manchester City, a team AFC Richmond would need to beat in their final game of the season to avoid relegation. Despite an incredibly valiant effort, Manchester City wins that final game thanks to Jamie Tart using the skills imparted onto him by Ted Lasso and making a pass. Jamie's angry father scolds him for passing the ball instead of going for the game-winning goal himself, but Ted gives his former player a letter congratulating him, and even includes an army man toy that was originally a gift to Ted from his son. Obviously, AFC Richmond is devastated by the loss and their relegation, but a newly united Ted and Rebecca have hope the next season they can earn a promotion, and from there, they'd set their sights on Premier League glory. Season 2 of Ted Lasso finds AFC Richmond in the middle of their football season, having drawn their last seven games. When star player Danny Rojas accidentally kills the team's Greyhound mascot, he falls into a depression that seriously affects his play skills. And so Richmond hires sports psychologist Sharon Fieldstone to help out. Sharon helps revitalize Danny's love of football and creates a huge burst of morale for the rest of the team. But Sharon's most complicated patient turns out to be Ted Lasso himself. Ted is suffering from severe panic attacks, but his past experiences in couples counseling before his divorce lead Ted to resist any help from Sharon. Rebecca begins a new relationship through a dating app with a mystery suitor who she eventually discovers to be AFC Richmond player Sam Obasanya. Rebecca is hesitant to continue the relationship after discovering this revelation due to being Sam's boss and the large age difference. But the two end up forming a genuine bond and continue to date in secret until Rebecca decides to end things fearing she'll get her heart broken. 
Meanwhile, Jamie Tart decides to quit playing for Manchester City in an effort to anger his overbearing father. After a brief stint on a reality dating show, Jamie asks Ted if he can return to AFC Richmond. Ted reluctantly relents, and the entire team is skeptical of having Jamie back. But Jamie proves himself to be a changed man, and serves as a valuable team player and ally on and off the field. Meanwhile, Roy Kent, though still going strong with Keeley, is struggling with life after retiring from football. First, he tries his hand at coaching his niece Phoebe's football team, then takes a job working as a sports commentator, where his blunt and vulgar opinions lead to him becoming an audience favorite. But despite this success, Roy misses being out on the field and eventually takes a job working as a coach for AFC Richmond alongside Ted, Beard, and Nate. With Roy and Jamie now back as part of the team, AFC Richmond break their draw streak and finally start winning matches. The new addition and success of assistant coach Roy Kent begins to spur jealousy in Nate. When Ted suffers a panic attack during a crucial moment in the team's quarterfinal match, Nate steps up to lead the team to victory. The social media praise for Nate's play calling all go to the assistant coach's head, and he begins feeling spiteful that he isn't getting the credit he deserves from Ted and the team. This leads to Nate taking out all of his past frustrations and insecurities on the players and the team's new kit man Will. When AFC Richmond suffers a terrible loss against Manchester City, Jamie's father lashes out and publicly humiliates him. Jamie finally fights back against his father and then breaks down into the arms of his comforting former rival Roy Kent. Seeing the two rivals embrace inspires Ted to finally seek help from Sharon for his own emotions. As Sharon's time with the team comes to a close, Ted wishes his new friend well and thanks her for everything she has done. Ted is then visited by reporter Trent Krim, who warns him that an article detailing Ted's panic attack at Richmond's previous match is about to be published. Trent reveals his source for the article is Nate, which cost him his job. Ted keeps this revelation to himself and continues working alongside Nate to focus on Richmond's final match of the season, which will determine if the team is promoted to the Premier League. Everyone rallies around Ted for support from the article, and AFC Richmond comes out of the match victorious. As the season comes to a close, Keeley gets funding to start her own PR firm and encourages Roy to take time away from her, which greatly concerns him. Rebecca's ex-husband Rupert gives her full ownership of AFC Richmond, which leaves Rebecca shocked at his generosity. But it turns out Rupert has something a little more shady in mind, as he buys rival football team West Ham United and hires the spiteful Nate as the team's head coach. In Season 3 of Ted Lasso, the titular coach finds himself in a funk, distracted from his team duties after discovering that his ex-wife Michelle has begun dating their former couples therapist Dr. Jacob. The addition of superstar player Zava briefly turns around AFC Richmond's losing streak, which excites Rebecca, as she is obsessed with beating Rupert's team West Ham United, coached by the backstabbing Nate. When Zava shockingly announces his early retirement, Roy Kent begins to coach Jamie Tart one-on-one -on -one to help him become the team's new anchor. And with Ted dealing with his own personal issues, Roy also steps up to lead the team's press conferences. Eventually, Ted finally lets go of his bitterness toward Michelle and rededicates himself to leading Richmond to victory. He implements a strategy known as Total Football, where players can take on any position during the game, forcing the team to rely on each other as much on the field as they've grown to off the field. With the use of Total Football and Jamie's ascension as a true superstar, AFC Richmond go on a massive winning streak, all of which is documented by Trent Krim, formerly of The Independent, for his new book on the football club. Elsewhere, Roy Kent breaks up with Keeley, fearing he would hold her back as she starts her own PR firm. Keeley then begins a relationship with Jack, head of the VC company funding her firm. When old nude photos of Keeley are leaked online, Jack coldly breaks up with her and pulls her funding from Keeley's company. Fortunately, Rebecca offers to back KJPR, allowing Keeley to stay in business and bring along her new colleague and friend, Barbara. Over at West Ham, Nate leads his new team to a string of victories and is touted regularly in the media as the infamous Wonder Kid. Nate desperately desires the approval of West Ham's owner, Rupert Mannion, who encourages his petty and villainous behavior. When Nate begins dating Jade, the hostess of his favorite restaurant, he begins to gain more self-confidence and starts to regret the terrible ways he treated Ted and AFC Richmond just to earn Rupert's admiration. 
Meanwhile, Rebecca visits a psychic suggested by her mother. Although she is at first extremely skeptical, Rebecca is quickly shocked by the psychic's knowledge, and stunned when the psychic reveals that she will one day be a mother. Rebecca begins seeing hints of the psychic's cryptic signs throughout her life, leading her to question whether she is destined to end up with Sam, or potentially a single father she spends a romantic night with in Amsterdam. When Rupert invites Rebecca to join him in a football super league, Rebecca sabotages the league and the two are finally able to set aside their differences. When Rupert tries to kiss Rebecca, she turns him down, realizing she finally has closure. Rebecca then assures Ted that she no longer needs Richmond to beat West Ham out of spitefulness. And as Rupert cheats on his current wife Bex with his new assistant, while also encouraging Nate to cheat on Jade, Nate finally stands up to his boss and resigns as West Ham's coach. Jade encourages Nate to return to AFC Richmond, which he is hesitant to do, but the entire team, including the bitter coach Beard, welcome him back with open arms. As AFC Richmond's season approaches its end, they are close to fulfilling Ted's original promise to Rebecca and winning the Premier League. But before their final match of the season, Ted announces that he will be leaving Richmond to return to America and be closer to his son. The team gives Ted an emotional goodbye before playing their final match against West Ham. Using Nate's signature play, Richmond defeats West Ham, and Rupert is humiliated by not only the loss, but by his years of sexual misconduct. And although AFC Richmond are happy to celebrate their win, ultimately they come in second place in the Premier League to Manchester City. As Ted prepares to leave, Rebecca bids him an emotional goodbye and sells off 49% of the team to fans, realizing that Richmond is the family she always desired. Although she does also end up with her mystery Amsterdam lover. Coach Beard realizes that it was time to part ways with Ted, staying in Richmond to serve as an assistant coach. Roy Kent is named the new head coach of AFC Richmond, and on the advice of Ted and the Diamond Dogs, he finally goes to therapy. Although he doesn't get back together with Keeley, they are once again on good terms, and the coaching bond he formed with Jamie turns into a genuine friendship. Elsewhere, Jamie finally reconciles with his father, who has entered rehab, Sam is finally able to achieve his dream of playing on the Nigerian team, and Keeley proposes to Rebecca that AFC Richmond form a women's team. As the series comes to a close, Ted Lasso returns to America to be with his family, content to coach his son's youth soccer team.